What's up my Vim nerds? So today we're gonna to be talking about some advanced techniques for moving around in the file vertically, horizontally, all the different things. If you haven't checked out the last video, I'll put it at the link in the top and you can go check it out. This is part two. So, I mean, obviously if you aren't subscribed yet, like, you know what to do. Just hit the subscribe button. You're on part two, you like the content. Let's jump into it and I'll show you how to move around a file. All right. So one of the first things I want to talk about is using the F key. And so F will take you to a character. So if I say F T, then you can see I hit the first T in this line here. Again, this is horizontal movement. If I do semicolon, then I will go to each of the T characters in this. If I do a comma, then I will go backwards through all the T characters. So if I wanted to do something like select up to first T character, then I would do VFT and I get all the way up there and I can increment further and further along the line. So this lets you navigate horizontally. You can also do the T character. So F will take you to that character and T will take you right before it. So if I do TT, then I'm right here on the U of input right before it. And if I go backwards and I try to select that, you can see I only select everything up into that character. So if I did, you know, VT open parenthesis, I select everything until the parenthesis, but not including that character. If I wanted to go backwards, then I would do the capital letter. So capital F will do the same thing, just going backwards. So if I do F T, then I do the same thing and I use the same semicolon, but this time it goes backwards and then comma goes forwards which is the opposite because uh, i use the capital f command there's a similar way to search through a file so if i do a forward slash and i look for let's say marker then i can hit enter and i can do in and go to the next one and that'll take me all around the file and wrap if i wanted to go backwards then i do capital in and that'll take me back to the previous marker which has been selected i have an incremental search going here so it'll highlight, this is actually a Vim setting. So I'll put a link to my dot files and the VimRC. Um, also, I made a video about this. So if you haven't checked that out, check it out on having like your Tmux and your Vim configuration set up. Uh, and this is nice to be able to check, you know, if you're doing a regex matcher. So if you did all the digits and then anything with the parentheses after that, you can see things are changing and uh, it highlights the four there if I hit enter then i can do in and it highlights all the numbers that have a parenthesis right after them if i wanted to search backwards through a file i can do question mark and then marker and this will do the same thing again inverse so if i do in i will go backwards through the file so i'm going up and then if i do a capital in i go down uh, because i'm doing the question mark forward slash will take you from the top going down and then question mark will go from the bottom going up. Whenever you need to flip between like the different curly braces, if you need to highlight a function, you can use percent sign. And so if I do that, then my cursor flips between these two. So if I do a V percent sign, then I highlight all of this. If I do a capital V, then I actually get all of the selection there. And if you wanna jump to the top or to the bottom, you can actually hit O and it'll flip between those. And then I can delete this or I can highlight in a different way. Really awesome to have, especially whenever you have languages that have a lot of curly braces, then you can flip between them and be able to navigate really quickly. Spend some time practicing these, especially whenever you're doing the F and T. There's going to be a lot of ways to combine those with different motions. And so like and subscribe to the video if you like this. But the next video is going to be about editing and then combining all of these movements, F and T, searching with different ways to delete, yank, replace text. Similar to how we use the numeric arguments with H, J, K, and L, we're gonna combine other aspects of motions to manipulate files and allow you to change things quickly. Spend some time working on F and T, uh, if you're not familiar with those, and I'll show you some awesome tips and tricks in the next one. Thanks.